Word to the wise, when it comes time to choosing classes, pick the ones you're actually interested in attending. Surely you'll have some prerequisites and required courses you'll need to complete in order to earn your degree, but by and large, you've got some options. Leverage them to your advantage, but also take on each semester with a sense of adventure. Step outside your comfort zone, take classes that you've never even considered or even heard of, and see where they might lead. Let's say you end up in a class that you know, for whatever reason, you just will not like. Don't wait around and waste time. Check the campus calendar and make sure you know the ad drop dates. Drop that class like a bad habit and pick up something else, perhaps that perks your interest. But be careful when it comes to adding and dropping classes. Always have backup classes in mind and don't drop anything until you know there is a seat with your name on it in another course. Not having enough classes on your schedule each semester could jeopardize any financial aid or scholarships you have. On the other hand, overloading your schedule will lead to a stressful semester, which can keep you from enjoying your campus's extracurricular events and offerings. What if there are a dozen sections of the same required course? How do you choose which one to add to your course load? Well, start by taking a personal inventory. Are you a morning person? No? Then avoid any class that starts before noon. Fooling yourself into thinking that you'll make that 8 a.m. seminar just sets you up for failure. Another consideration is location. If you only have 15 minutes to make it between classes and one is located across campus, you run the risk of showing up late and making a poor impression on your professor. Some faculty will not tolerate tardiness of any kind and refuse students entry into class after it has officially started. Speaking of faculty, we all have our own unique learning styles. Are you able to sit through lectures without getting distracted? Are you more hands-on and need discussion and group interaction to keep you motivated? Ask fellow classmates and upperclassmen about the professors on campus and try to enroll in those classes taught by professors whose teaching methods align with your learning style. Some websites actually feature reviews of courses and faculty which might prove helpful when deciding which courses to take. Don't forget, your academic advisors are experts when it comes to assisting with your schedule and academic goals, so use them. Some of your classmates might have always known exactly what they wanted to be when they grew up. That's great for them, but you shouldn't feel pressured to declare a major right out of the gate. Consider your options and give yourself some breathing room to explore the possibilities. After all, that's what education is all about. No matter which courses you choose, the important thing is to show up. Yeah, you'll meet some people who ditch class on the regular and still manage to pull off an A. Whether or not you can is beside the point. College is a privilege and an expensive one at that. Don't waste your time or financial resources by ditching class. Show up now for success later.